9.2 simplifying radical expressions. It's MA 912 AR 7.1. We're going to use the product and quotient rules for radicals to simplify radical expressions. Use rationalization techniques to simplify radical expressions and use the Pythagorean theorem in application problems. So the product and quotient rule for radicals says that if you see the nth root of uv, you can rewrite it as the nth root of u times the nth root of v. If you have the nth root of u divided by v, you can rewrite it as the nth root of u over the nth root of v, where v does not equal zero. In example one, um, they want us to factor out, basically find the radical of square root of 75, square root of 72, and square root of 162. When you think of the square root of 75, things in terms of quarters. So it can be rewritten as the square root of 25 times the square root of 3, because 25 cents, 3 times. We can take the square root of 25 and it becomes 5, and radical 3 stays in. The number 72, think of it as an even number, is divisible by 2. Well, 72 divided by 2 is 36. That's why it's 36 times 2. You can take the square root of 36 out of 6, and square root of 2 slides down. Uh, square root of 162, again, it's an even number. So we always think in terms of dividing by 2. Uh, 16, 162 divided by 2 is 81. Well, we know the square root of 81 is 9, and then the square root of 2. In example 2, they want us to take the square root of 25x squared. Notice that there's two items. You just make them separate pieces, square root of 25 times the square root of x squared. Square root of 25 we know is 5. And then remember, it's square root, which means there's an imaginary little 2 in this niche. So think of 2 divided by 2 means there is one piece, a remainder of 0, which means an x comes out of the radical. So your final answer ends up being 5x. On the next one, it says square root of 12x cubed. So we have the square root of 12 times the square root of x cubed. 12 is a factor of 4 and 3, so I can rewrite as the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. Remember, there's an imaginary 2, so think of 3 divided by 2 means it's 1 remainder 1. And x came out, and x is in the radical. The square root of 4 is 2, the 3, x, radical x. So I have whole pieces out and then radical pieces. So all we need to do is group our holes. 2 has to join with the x, and in the radical, 3 with x to close it off. On C, it wants us to do the square root of 144x to the fourth. Again, isolate the number and then your variables. Square root of 144 is 12. And again, remember, you're dividing by 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, remainder 0, which means 2x's come out. So you're left with 2x, 12x squared. The next one is the square root of 72, x cubed, y squared. So again, square root of 72, square root of x cubed, square root of y squared. Previously, we talked about the square root of 72 and said it was an even number. So 72 is 36 in a radical 2. Remember, you're dividing by 2, so 3 divided by 2 is 1 remainder 1. Again, on the y's, 2 divided by 2 is 1 remainder 0. So we had an x come out, an x in the radical. We had a y come out. Square root of 36 is 6 with a square root of 2. So all your whole pieces join together, 6xy, and then anything that's in the radical merge together. So 6xy, square root of 2x. Okay, on the next set of group examples, it's higher order exponents and index values. So it's the fifth root of the square root, the fifth root of 486 x to the seventh, and then the cube root of 128 x cubed y to the fifth. So we're gonna isolate our fifth root of 486, and then the fifth root of x to the seventh. Now, 486 is even, so it means I can divide by two. So I'm gonna write as the fifth root of 243, times the fifth root of two, you still have the fifth root of x to the seventh. Okay, 243, 
If you add your index in your numbers, two plus four is six plus three is nine, means it's divisible by three. This can be rewritten as three to the fifth power because three times itself five times is 243. The fifth root of two stays as is, and then we're dividing by five. So seven divided by five is one remainder, two pieces, and X came out and two X has stayed in. So because the index and the power match, we get a whole three that comes out. Then we have your fifth root of two. We had an X come out and then we had our fifth root of X the second. All our whole, whole pieces come together, which is three X and then the index is a five and you have two X squared in it. On the next one, the cube root of 128. Again, isolate the numbers, cube root of 128, then the cube root of X to the third, cube root of Y to the fifth. 128 is an even number, so you can rewrite it as cube root of 64 times the cube root of two. You're dividing by three, means one remainder zero. You're dividing by three, it's one remainder two. What does that mean? So cube root of 64, number multiplied three times, it gives you 64 is the value of four. Cube root of two slides down. We said an X came out. We said a Y came out and two Y stayed in the bucket. And then just rewrite all your whole pieces together. So we have four X Y and then the cube root of two Y to the second in the radical. In examples five, six. So now it's the division one. So it says square root of 56 X squared over the square root of eight. So when you see them separated like this, first thing you wanna do is join them. So I'm gonna write it as 56 X to the second over eight. Re reason being is that we have uh, integer values that I can combine to maybe reduce and separate. So now I see 56 divided by eight, that is square root of seven and we still have x squared in the radical. Again, so now we can isolate square root of seven, square root of x squared. Remember, the square root of x squared, there's an imaginary two. Two divided two is one remainder zero. So when x comes out, and we still have a radical seven, so that's what it results in. On B it says the negative cube root of y to the fifth over 27x to the third. Since they are all different pieces, now we can separate them each. So I'm gonna write negative cube root y to the fifth over cube root of 27, cube root of x to the third. We still have that negative. Now three goes into five, that's once remainder two. So we had a y came out, two y stayed in. Cube root of 27, a number multiplied three times to give you 27 is three. Three comes out. We're dividing by three, so it's one remainder zero. So we had an X come out and we're finished. For example, seven, it's where we start to rationalize. We're not allowed to have radicals in the denominator. So first thing it says, square root of three divided by five. So we're gonna rewrite this as individual pieces, square root of three over the square root of five. When you go to rationalize, you're using the denominator. Square root means two. I only have a five, one, which means I'm multiplying top and bottom by another square root of five so that I can get two. So now by doing this, we are seeing square root of three times the square root of five over the square root of 25 that you can take. So now I end up being square root of 15 over five. On B it says four over the cube root of nine. First thing, rewrite the nine in exponent powers. So we're gonna write it as four over cube root three squared. We need three pieces for it to match up. We only have two. So we're gonna multiply by an additional one piece because the two plus one makes our three pieces. So now we see four cube root of three over cube root of three squared is nine times three is 27. 
cube root of 27, we can do the math on that. That is a whole three. And then you have four cube root of three. On C, it says eight over three squares of 18. Get rid of your 18, so you're gonna multiply square root of 18 to top and bottom. It makes easier, and then you can reduce afterwards. So now we see eight square root of 18 over three times the square root of three. The 18 times the 18 is gonna be 324, which is a perfect number. So now we see eight times the square root of nine times the square root of two, because 18 is nine times two, over three times the square root of 324, it's a perfect square root, which means it's 18. We have eight times three radical two over three times 18. The reason I did this is because right now the threes can cancel themselves out. Eight and 18 are even numbers. Two goes into 18, into eight four times, two goes into 18 nine times. So you end up with four square root of two over nine. On D, it says square root of eight over 12, x over y to the fifth. First thing, reduce, separate your pieces. So we're gonna write it as the square root of eight x over the square root of 12 y to the fifth. Okay, so we're at this point, it says radical, remember it's imaginary two. So I'm gonna multiply the top and bottom by 12 y, because I want an even piece. It's already an index value of five. It's an odd number, so I'm gonna give it one more so it can break that chain. So now we become eight times the 12 is 96 xy over 12 y to the third because five plus one is six and half of six is three. Uh -huh. 96 we know is eight and 12. Eight is four and two and 12 is four and three. So we can use 96 as square root of 16 times the square root of six xy over 12 y to the third. 16, so our 16 we know is four, square roots of six x y over 12 y to the third, and then reduce. Four goes into 12 three times, so you're left with square root of six x y sitting on top of three y to the third. E says cube root of 54 x to the six y to the third, over five Z to the second. So again, separate your pieces. Cube root, 54 X to the six, Y to the third, over cube root, five Z to the second. I only have one five and two Zs. I am missing two fives, which is 25 and one Z. That's what we're gonna use for the top and bottom. So now we're gonna rewrite this. So we see 54 is 27, cube root of 27, cube root of two, cube root of x to the six, cube root of y to the third, over five z, because remember, one plus the two more is three. Three divided by three is one piece. Two Zs plus another Z is three pieces. Divided by three is one piece. Cube root of 27 is three. Three goes into six twice, that's two Xs. Three goes into three once, that's one Y. With a cube root of two left over the numerator line over five Z.